The affair between Joe Namath and the city of New York has been no mere autumn romance. He has quarterbacked the Jets for 11 years, and to his loyal followers, he will always be the most exciting passer in football. Throughout Namath's career, the Jets have lived off the passing game, but this season, unlike others, they are dying by it. In six games, Namath has thrown 16 interceptions, the most in pro football. On defense, as well as on offense, the passing game has killed the Jets through the first half of the season. Their secondary has been consistently outmaneuvered, and as a result, the Jets have been scored on more often than any team in the NFL. Another factor in New York's defensive demise has been a woefully weak pass rush. New acquisitions like Big Billy Newsom have the quickness to reach the quarterback and frequently have seemed on the verge of a sack only to have the quarterback escape and use the extra time to find the open spot in the secondary. Last Sunday, Newsom and the rest of the Jets front four learned a great deal about rushing the passer from the Baltimore Colts who forced Joe Namath to make seven crash landings on the Memorial Stadium turf, including three voluntary belly flops to avoid the Colts' fierce rush. When Namath found the time to throw, however, he was right on target for 340 yards and three touchdowns. But until the Jets learn to pursue and tackle, this will never be enough to ensure victory. Baltimore's quarterback, Burt Jones, raced through the scattered Jet defenses for an early lead. Then the Colts went on to score five more touchdowns, amassing over 400 yards and thoroughly defeating the defenseless Jets 45 to 28. <laughs> 